Hello everyone and welcome to The Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. It's becoming quite apparent that in his admiration for establishing a one-world government administered by a new world order, America is an object of hate for Pope Francis. The handwriting was on the wall at least two years ago when yet another article from Eugenio Scalfari revealed that the pontiff has so little regard for the United States that he actually thinks that we should simply give up our national sovereignty and submit to a new world order. Hey, maybe the Dems can nominate Pope Francis for their party's candidate for president. He can assume presidential powers and then dissolve the United States. After all, it seems like he's got experience doing the same thing with the church. The old atheist Italian journalist says that in 2017, Pope Francis called him shortly after the G20 summit and demanded to see him at four o'clock that afternoon. According to Scalfari, Francis had become agitated about the U.S. and other nations commanding such power in the world. Quote, Pope Francis told the Italian newspaper La Repubblica that the United States of America has, quote, a distorted vision of the world and Americans must be ruled by a world government as soon as possible for their own good, closed quote. Now, that's an incredible statement to make, and as the article continued, the disrespect for the idea of national sovereignty mounted. European nations also came under the papal displeasure. Quote, I also thought many times to this problem and came to the conclusion that, not only but also for this reason, Europe must take, as soon as possible, a federal structure. Closed quote. There is, without a doubt, an extreme dislike with this pope of anything that strikes of nationalism, meaning national sovereignty. Since America seems to lead the world in the area of national pride, the U.S. is never passed over in the papal condemnations of national sovereignty. Somewhere, somehow, he has in his head that the idea of individual nations is bad because that translates into immigrants being mistreated. And among rich nations, the first world nations, poverty escalates and the poor are taken advantage of. That's what he thinks. And so the solution for him is to introduce a one world government ruled by a single new world order so all immigrants can get a fair shake out of life. Last week, the reports came out that Pope Francis thinks national pride, touted by political conservatives, is the beginning of Nazism reappearing. He said to an international group of specialists in penal law, quote, and I must confess to you that when I hear a speech by someone responsible for order or for a government, I think of speeches by Hitler in 1934, 1936. They are inadmissible behaviors in the rule of law and generally accompany racist prejudices and contempt for socially marginalized groups. It is no coincidence that in these times, emblems and actions typical of Nazism reappear, which, with its persecution against Jews, gypsies, and people of homosexual orientation, represents the negative model par excellence of a culture of waste and hatred." Closed quote. Pope Francis has drunk the Kool-Aid of the left. So there it is, perfectly framed by this pontificant. Immigrants and homosexuals need to be protected classes. Sovereign nations must give way to those who do not respect borders and those who reject natural law. And nations now bordering on embracing Nazism must surrender their independence because it is the will of God. For their own good, the nations of the world, especially the powerful ones, must pass out of existence, surrender themselves and abolish their borders for their own good. When Americans are chanting USA at sporting events or political rallies for Republicans, in Pope Francis' head, that apparently rings as Sieg Heil. This is dangerous, dangerous stuff. For the occupant of the throne of Peter to be outward, publicly demonizing nations, especially the leading nation which defeated the Nazis as Nazis themselves, a line has been crossed from which there is no coming back. To then turn around and underscore that part of what makes a person a modern day Nazi is to not go along with the homosexual agenda and resist the evil, this is beyond the pale and has to be called out. 
Pope Francis has moved into territory that no pope has ever transgressed. He's transferring the mission of the church from the salvation of souls to the foundation of a one world government. What precisely the role of the church itself would be in that new world order, well, that still seems a little vague, but one thing is clear. Francis never criticizes Islamic nations. He never tells them to clean up their act and stop throwing homosexuals off roofs, as seen here. He never has a word of criticism for their brutality of FGM, female genital mutilation, or sponsorship of world terror, or torture, or forcing people in their nations to convert or have their heads cut off. Yet, he has no problem with hiding behind the Italian military surrounding the walls of the Vatican, protecting him from that same Muslim threat. This pontificate is a political disaster and has gone completely off the rails.